All right, let's see if we can get this video going before my niece calls back with another another issue. Um, Pro Street, we're working on the Pro Street thing. Uh, the, the Super B Cornet, um, we have the body all sanded down and scuffed. We're getting this ready to put into 1K primer. We're gonna be using some splash white surface primer and then um, I've talked to to uh, the guy that runs Splash Paints, and yes, we do have to stir it up a little bit, but uh, that's what Buzz Lightyear's for over there. Um, we have talked to him like, hey, you know, this doesn't look very white. And he goes, trust me, it's you know, it's what it's it's white enough, as he says. And the reason being is, it, and we all know what it's like trying to work on something that's a stark white type of thing. It's hard to see, right? So. Uh, they do have a little bit of a, a black dye in here to make it like a, a very, very pale gray, very almost like an ash color. And uh, it really helps uh, with seeing surface imperfections and stuff so that we don't get surprised by the color coat or, in my case, usually the clear coat. So um, it's kind of cool that Splash actually has this white primer, but it's actually like a super, super pale gray. So um, that's cool. We're going to be putting this guy in primer. Uh, we're going to be doing the uh, chassis uh, in the 1K primer. Also, we're going to get this a scuff here a little bit. But we have been working on things. We, we've been working on a lot of things, as a matter of fact. We worked on the rear suspension. And we just have it, we just, we just have the, the drive shaft shoved in there for, uh, for mock-up purposes. But uh, we have some flat black on there. I'm um, not quite sure what color we're going to paint all that, but we wanted to get stuff glued together so that we could start mocking things into place and seeing how everything kind of fits. Um, it fits okay. It doesn't fit awesome. I still think that looks like a TIE fighter without the uh, without the solar panel, collect the solar collectors on there. Uh, and then it has the coilover shocks that go at a very steep angle to uh oh, excuse me a very shallow angle i should say to uh, out to the axle uh housing and um uh it, it's it, you know it is what it is uh <laughs> we'll just leave it at that but um we've got that mocked up and kind of got an idea how that's going uh let's see we have the interior in uh pan and color we just did it all in flat black yes there are holes drilled there and we'll get to that in a second but uh, we did it all in flat black, and then we're going to probably um, do like a gloss coat over the seat and then the door cards so that, uh, you know, we get some tonal variations. Uh, the seats that come with the kit are super cool. There's these racing seats, and I got, I got fancy with some, some masking tape and then uh, did that. So it's got some pretty cool, I got a little bit of a touch up right there to do on that, on that bolster. But I thought, hey, that, that will look kind of cool in there since everything's going to be black on black. So I did the seats actually in rubber black. So you can see that there's going to be just a little bit of a contrast. There's just a tiny bit, a little tiny bit. But I thought, oh, yeah, you know, originally, you know, the car is going to be orange. And I thought it would be cool if we did the piping in orange. And I, and I was starting to mask everything off. And I'm like, hmm, it's going to be a lot of orange. So I decided to go ahead and pass on the orange and just go with, this is actually the color of the primer down below. I like that. We're going to go with that. Both seats are like that. Now, the reason why we got the holes in the floor pan is because we're adding in the roll bar from the dart kit that we stole the hood scoop from. And I added these bars on here. They're supposed to, on the dart kit, they come down, they come from down lower. I just went ahead and added them up higher. I like that look a little bit better. This is a lot cooler looking than the hockey goal that comes with the kit. Um, I think the about scale size, that's about right for a hockey goal. So <laughs> just find some netting and make that into a goal. But uh, this, this is going to look a so much better in there. We're going to get that in that hole and that in that in the blurry hole. You want to go in the blurry hole? There we go. So then, there we go. That's going to be cooler. Now, here's the deal. The reason why I didn't want to do orange on the seats was because I'm going to paint the roll bar body color and then come back and do all the padding on there and stuff. I thought that would look cool. Uh, again, it, it will keep it from getting lost in the in the interior there. So... So that's all that. Uh, we have been uh, doing a lot of uh, grinding here. Um, no, not the dirty dancing thing. Let's, that's, that's in the past. We've done a lot of grinding here to try and shave down the uh, transmission tunnel 
and this little box here for the uh, for the suspension bit because the uh, the interior tub was just having a, a difficult time fitting on there. We did a lot of grinding on there too. You can see all that. We'll have to, we don't. What's cool is since this is a full chassis, we don't have to actually come back and clean this up and make it pretty. But we we're having a devil of a time trying to get this thing to actually fit down on there and not have it rock side to side. It's nice and steady now if we put pressure on there. And then, will the camera cooperate? It's hard to see without a light down inside there. But the yeah, we got a little bit of clearance now for clearance to fit. So uh, there's a little bit of movement back and forth. That's fine. That's great. That that that's kind of what we want because um, we we couldn't get this down below this lip here, and then we had to actually shave down the forward part of the of the uh, of the interior tub. So uh, everything's fitting in a lot better now. Um, we still have to put the windshield in there and cut the windshield to fit this weirdness here. But because this isn't a, a, a proper kit part, um, we had to modify this a little bit in order to accommodate that. Also, this guy here, we had to uh, do a little bit of a radius on this in order to fit inside uh, right through here. Uh, for some reason, it fit. It didn't. It fit great on the passenger side. Didn't want to fit good on, on the driver side, so we did some grinding. Oh, I had some sanding on that. Got that. Brought the radius in. Tightened up the radius a little bit, and uh, got that looking a lot better. So, uh, and then we have. Uh, we're going to fill this little seam here. So we're going to get on to that. We have our wheels dull coated. I really like how those look, but we have to detail them up a little bit. And then we have, um, uh, let's see here. Oh, our engine block. Now this isn't the, the, the hundred percent correct color because I did get a little creative with my Tamiya spray paints and I did a, um, a base coat of red and then I did a coat of orange over the top of the red. And it's not 100%, you know, the Hemi orange color, uh, but I, I do like it. And it, it is a little bit different than the actual car color, um, which brings me to my next quandary. Uh, I do want to do the firewall in body color. Okay, I think that'll look great. But the rest of the engine bay, uh, these um, the side pieces here, um, I think I'll do those in black. And maybe a flat black and then uh the radiator core support i think that'll be flat black also because otherwise the engine's going to get lost uh we do we did strip the he uh the valve covers those are flat black now we're going to take off those nipples and put in some wiring uh, so that's that's on the horizon and then we have some very very cute little coilover shocks for the rear i do touch up on that guy by accident there but yeah got some nice little coilover shocks there going for the back so, you know, we're getting some progress here and there, but it's just not going fast enough, <laughs> I tell you guys what. But we're going to go ahead and call it quits right now. We're going to get this um, uploaded and, and sent off into the ether, and uh, we'll talk to you all a little bit later on because we're going to be, you know, away from the bench for a little while. So I um, wanted to get something, some updates out there. And uh, we are participating in the um, scale creator whatever the heck we well, the yusaki thing uh and there'll be a video up for that on the 15th uh which will be this coming thursday it looks like so look forward to that all right y'all uh take it easy and we'll catch up with you a little bit later on bye